Hello guys, welcome in the new video. I want to say thank you for all views, likes, subscribes, also for the private messages, invitations on the li LinkedIn, because this is a big motivation for me and I want to say thank you and I appreciate a lot. So let's go to today's topic. I want to show you a different way to load values from the fixtures file. Uh, we want to go to this website, Automation Test Store, go to the login or register, fill these inputs and click login button. But we don't want to have hard-coded value, we want to use JSON file. So let's create a describe block name it as a fixture fixtures create a function let's create it block easier way to load values from JSON file create a function so let's visit this website Sorry. Okay, and let's visit, visit this website with the login page. Next, grab an element with login name, these two inputs. First, login name, we've got ID in the DevTools, so that's great. And grab password. Grab and password. It's also ID for this element. And we want to type values to this input test user WSB because I created earlier these users and uh, pass test WSB. And we want to get an element for login button title login you can take also you can take take type but i will take title let's do something like this title login and we want to click it so let's check if it works correctly or not mm, okay save in the vs code save all let's go to our Cypress runner and run fixtures file. As you can see, we have... Okay, we've got issues, sorry for that, because we didn't add this sign. Now it should work because we want to find by ID. Yes, now it works maybe reload this as you can see the all values are passed okay and another mistake test pass WSB sorry for that but this is live coding so let's debug on <coughs> let's debug it yeah works perfectly okay so as you can see we have hard-coded value here and we don't want to have this because when we, we have 100 tests like this but different these values it will be hard to go to this test and change all the values so we want to create json file with all values like username and password okay so go to the fixtures folder create maybe user.json file oh my mistake json mm -hmm. create um, for example uh, username and value will be let's copy it from this okay and let's do user password and let's copy from here okay 
let's format this document as from Prettier, yes, let's save it and now <coughs> we can see uh, all tests working fine because we have still hard coded. So how to import these um, values into the test? You can use CY fixture, okay, but I want to show a different way. First, we need to import this file. Import user, because this is the name of our file, from and find the path dot dot slash go up dot dot slash use fixtures and use user json and as you can see we have some problem cannot find module etc consider using resolve json model okay i will cover it but for now i can show you that it will be work so we want to type let's name of this file user dot and we have username this value okay works fine also here user dot user password and let's save it and let's check if it works still yes it works fine but we have problem here the problem is because uh, we are in the typescript hopefully you also use typescript uh, and we need to go to the tsconfig.json and add resolve json module and as you can see it's a false we need to change to the true now save file and yes works perfectly nice and our test still working so this is the way how to import values from the json file create this file next we need to import that and we need to add name of the file and username okay works perfectly but we don't have some assertions so let's add it let's check title of this website should equal equal to mm -hmm. let's log off let's log off and go to the mm -hmm. oh some mistake let's go in the website sorry uh, let's check the title Control F and our title is account login so our title should equal to account login here we can add more assertions let's check if this attribute is visible should be visible also the same for another input here and also we can check if after typing we have this value inside this input so should have value and also we can here use our fixtures user name and the same here but with user password let's check if it works okay using chrome fixtures file and now we have nice green assertions mm, our title is equal to account login expected to be visible this input next we are checking if this value is inside this input and the same for password and we click login and here we can add next assertion as you can see here we have account account in the url so let's check cy url should 
equal to account should include maybe because we we take only part of this link not full link it's important because if we use equal we need to copy all this link but we want to use include and to have value account account okay let's save it and check if it's still working as you can see still works fine we have nice assertion we have covered this uh, this part of the json file without cy fixture so now let's compare this with cy fixture i prepared the same test with using cy fixtures as you can see we have here more code uh, we have before each hook it's needed and also we have function here and here and we cannot change it to something like that sorry it works okay there are no errors in vs code but when i save this and want to run this test as you can see cannot read properties of undefined reading username so in fixtures we cannot use function by arrow we need to use this word function let's save it and check if it now works okay this user password because we have here we changed okay now it should work with from the CI fixture function this user password let me check let me check why it's not working username works correctly hmm. can only accept a string or number you passed undefined so something is wrong I don't know why we have string here. Let's do save. Okay. <laughs> Type user dot password. This user. Okay, okay. I changed in the assertion, but in the type I need to change this name. Let's check now. Sorry for that. Yeah, that's why Cypress is great because it's easy to debug this. So, as you can see, here we have compared these two uh, functions. Here we have with just import and here we have with fixtures. Here on my side, on the left, we have less code. We have easier way because only import and only type user dot username and the same for password here we have a problem with this function we cannot change to the arrow and also we need before each hook and cy fixture then user this user is equal to user and also in the type here we have use type this dot user dot username so it's more code and also Another problem here is because when you go here, you've got any type. If you go here, you can see property username string. And if you ty type alt, you can see your username has value test.user.wsb. Sorry, underscore, not that. But you know what I mean. So it's uh, nice because when you have in your user json a lot of these values for example 1000 you can in the test go here and you can check username is equal to test underscore user underscore wsb so i show you two ways how you can load values from the json file all these uh, two 
um, functions are great because um, here we have fixture, CY fixture, and here we have only import and uh, it depends in the project because sometimes you can have this solution and sometimes this but if you can choose I uh, want to say in my opinion this is easier way so I think that's all for today thanks a lot for watching this video hopefully you can add like subscribe and also um, type some comment so thanks a lot and see you in the next lecture Bye!